This is the third video in our guide to free NAS 8. Check out the article on Lifehacker below for more info. Once you've added your drives to FreeNAS, it's time to share them over the network. Click on the sharing tab in the sidebar here, and we're gonna use a Windows CIFS share. If you're an Apple household, you should look into AFP. Give your share a name and choose the path. In this case, we're just gonna share our media drive and tweak any other settings you want. I usually like to tweak the inherit owner and inherit permissions settings. I like to turn those on for shares that I'm actually going to be editing myself. It's useful if you have other people in your household also accessing those shares. When it asks you if you'd like to enable this service, choose no because we still have some other drives to add. Repeat this process with the other drives on your system. In this case, I'm gonna add my backup drive and I'm not going to check the inherit owner permissions boxes this time because no one else on my network is going to be accessing that drive except for me. Once again, I'm going to choose no here so I can go back to services, CIFS, and tweak any settings I want there first. I'm going to give it a new NetBIOS name so it matches the name of my server. And the rest of these settings should be fine at their defaults, but if you want to tweak them, go ahead. When you're done, head to services, control services, and flip the CIFS switch to on. That will share your drives over the network. Now head to your main computer. If it's Windows, you can just open up Windows Explorer, go to network in the sidebar, and wait for your other computers to show up. Double click on your NAS, and you'll see your shares. Choose one of those, and you'll be prompted to enter a username and password. Use the username and password we created back when we created a user in the free NAS web interface. When it's done, you'll see all your folders show up and you'll be able to add files, edit files, and so on as if it was on your computer. If you're on a Mac, it's also really simple. Just go to go, connect to server in the finder, type smb colon slash slash and then the name of your server, and once again, type in your username and password that we created earlier. Choose the drive you want to mount and you'll see it show up on your desktop. You'll be able to add and edit files at your leisure. Congratulations, you now have a working file server.